This is Find Your Daily Calm. I'm Sel Gaston. Today you will hear purposeful, meaningful, and calming quotes from one of the greatest books ever written. Victor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning. From one of its many print editions, Beacon Press wrote this about the book. Psychiatrist Victor Frankl's memoir has riveted generations of readers with its descriptions of life in Nazi death camps and its lessons for spiritual survival. Based on his own experience and the stories of his patients, Frankl argues that we cannot avoid suffering, but we can choose how to cope with it, find meaning in it, and move forward. At the heart of his theory, known as logotherapy, is a conviction that the primary human drive is not pleasure, but the pursuit of what we find meaningful. Man's Search for Meaning has become one of the most influential books in America. It continues to inspire us all to find significance in the very act of living. Born in Vienna in 1905, Viktor Frankl published more than 30 books on theoretical and clinical psychology and gained international renown. He died in 1997. Before you enjoy this segment, here are a few words from one of our partners. Happiness cannot be pursued. It must ensue as a side effect of a reason to be happy. Don't aim at success. The more you aim at it and make it a target, the more you are going to miss it. For success, like happiness, cannot be pursued. It must ensue, and it only does so, at the unintended side effect of one's dedication to a cause greater than oneself, or as the byproduct of one's surrender to a person other than oneself. Happiness must happen, and the same holds for success. You have to let it happen by not caring about it. I want you to listen to what your conscience commands you to do and go on to carry it out to the best of your knowledge. Then you will live to see that in the long run, in the long run, I say, success will follow you precisely because you had forgotten to think of it. Happiness cannot be pursued. It must ensue. One must have a reason to be happy. Once the reason is found, however, one becomes happy automatically. As we see, a human being is not one in pursuit of happiness, but rather in search of a reason to become happy. Last but not least, through actualizing the potential meaning inherent and dormant in any given situation. The meaning of life is unique to each moment. No situation repeats itself. For the meaning of life differs from man to man, from day to day and from hour to hour. What matters, therefore, is not the meaning of life in general, but rather the specific meaning of a person's life at a given moment. These tasks and therefore the meaning of life differ from man to man and from moment to moment. Thus, it is impossible to define the meaning of life in a general way. Questions about the meaning of life can never be answered by sweeping statements. Life does not mean something vague, but something very real and concrete just as life's tasks are also very real and concrete. They form man's destiny, which is different and unique for each individual. No man and no destiny can be compared with any other man or any other destiny. No situation repeats itself, and each situation calls for a different response. Sometimes, the situation in which a man finds himself may require him to shape his own fate by action. At other times, it is more advantageous for him to make use of an opportunity for contemplation and to realize assets in this way. Sometimes man may be required simply to accept fate, 
to bear his cross. Every situation is distinguished by its uniqueness, and there is always only one right answer to the problem posed by the situation at hand. Thus far, we have shown that the meaning of life always changes, but that it never ceases to be. According to logotherapy, we can discover this meaning in life in three different ways. One, by creating a work or doing a deed. Two, by experiencing something or encountering someone. And three, by the attitude we take toward unavoidable suffering. The meaning of life is unique to each individual. No one can be replaced. One should not search for an abstract meaning of life. Everyone has his own specific vocation or mission in life to carry out a concrete assignment which demands fulfillment. Therein, he cannot be replaced, nor can his life be repeated. Thus, everyone's task is as unique as his specific opportunity to implement it. This uniqueness and singleness which distinguishes each individual and gives a meaning to his existence has a bearing on creative work as much as it does on human love. When the impossibility of replacing a person is realized, it allows the responsibility which a man has for his existence and its continuance to appear in all its magnitude. A man who becomes conscious of the responsibility he bears toward a human being who affectionately waits for him or to an unfinished work will never be able to throw away his life. He knows the why for his existence and will be able to bear almost any how. Those few lines are one of my favorites in Viktor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you and your friends enjoy Find Your Daily Calm, please let us know by leaving us a message on our Facebook page, Find Your Daily Calm. Please help us keep free content coming by donating to Find Your Daily Calm. You may see on the show notes on how you may do so. Thank you, and may peace be upon you. Okay, here's how Miro works. See, it's amazing. What's everyone doing at David's desk? Ever since marketing started using Miro's collaborative online whiteboard, he thinks all our other teams should sign up. Why? He says Miro's making his meetings disappear. And if every team gets on it, that means even less meetings. They're using Miro for brainstorms, mind maps, customer research. So could we use Miro instead of having another 100 meetings for every round of feedback? Yep. You can comment, react to ideas, even leave a recording on the board. And what about presentations? There are Miro templates for that. How do you know so much about Miro? I've actually been using it all along. I just used a Miro board to plan the best vacation. Okay, I'm on board. See how Miro users save up to 80 hours every year by meeting less and doing more. Get on board at Miro.com with three boards free forever. That's M-I-R-O.com.